So hello and welcome to lesson 4 of our Studying Optimization 1. So today we'll talk about unconstrained optimization. That is optimizing single variable functions. So let's start. So let's consider a continuous function y equals f of x of single variable x and in the domain a b. Okay, so the domain are critical points. So to optimize, so to optimize means what maximize or what minimize. So to optimize our function y of y is equal to f of x on the interval a b, then these are the steps we go through. So first of all, we find the critical point, okay, of our function. So we first find the first derivative of f of x, that is f prime of x. Then we equate it to zero to find x naught. So after that, we find the functional values of f of x naught, there's no we had here, then f of a and f of b. So the a and b are from this interval. Then, based on the functional values we get, we make some what deductions, some decisions. So that's a step very simple. So um, you know sometimes we have what we call a sufficient condition. So you might be given a problem and you'll be asked to optimize. You know, optimizing means you're either maximizing or you are minimizing. But you would want to know whether for that particular function you are optimizing it or what you are minimizing it. So we provide something called sufficient condition to help you know this. So let me read what is here for you. It says, if the question asks you to optimize, that's maximize or minimize, we would not know if you are to maximize or minimize, but the type of the function can help you. So if the function is convex, then we are minimizing. Okay, so it being convex means that this is satisfied. We talked about all these, okay, in our previous videos. Then if the function is concave, then that means we are maximizing. So let's use some sketch to explain that. So you know when our function is convex, then we have something like this, the U shape. So you see, we are minimizing. And then when it is concave, we have something like this. We are maximizing. So let's take some examples. We are supposed to maximize or minimize this objective function. So f of x equals x all times 5 pi minus x on the interval 20, 0. So we have this to be a f of x. When we expand this, we'll get f pi x minus s squared. Then finding the first derivative of it will give us, um, there is no need to even use del here. It will give us d dx of this thing. So if we should differentiate here, we get 5 pi. Here we get minus 2x. Okay. So now, we equate f prime of x to zero and we solve for what x so that will give us this so solving for x we get 2x to be equal to 5 pi and you finally get x to be 5 pi on 2 so note that the interval is 0 20 so now we are going to put our x equals 5 pi on 2 inside our function the zero inside our function the 20 inside and based on the values we get we make a decision okay so when x is 0 you know wherever you find x we put 0 then so 0 0 and this gives us everything to be 0 when x is 20 20 times 5 5 minus 20 and that gives us negative 84.84 and when x is 5 pi on 2 we we'll get 5 pi on 2 times 5 pi minus 5 pi on 2 and that will give us 61.69 okay so now we have our functional values and we have where they occur at 
So the question asks us to optimize, okay? But are we maximizing this or we are minimizing that? So this is when our sufficient condition comes in. So you realize that our function f of x was given us this. Multiplying through by x gives us that. So I want to test for the convexity of it. So our first derivative gives us this. Our second derivative gives us negative 2, which is less than 0. So since f prime prime of x is negative 2, which is less than 0, it means that our function f of x is what? Concave. So in this question, we are what? Maximizing it. So you can see that when we come to the functional values we had, we had 0, negative 85.82 and 61.69. So since we are maximizing it, then this happens to be the what? Best result we can get. So we made the conclusion the maximum value is 61.69 and it occurs at 5 pi on 2. So that's it with that particular question. So the second question to say is that optimize the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 5 on the interval negative 1, 4. Okay, so try this question. So if you solve this question and you solve it correctly, you realize that finding, like discussing the convexity of it, you are supposed to min minimize this because the function is convex. And you realize that the minimum value or the minimal value will be the minimal value will be 4 and it will okay at 1. Okay, so um, thank you very much. And so um, in our next video, we'll be talking about the constraint multivariable optimization with equality constraints. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.